What's up guys? It's your boy Albie and welcome back to AHC2 World. So guys, today I'm sporting my AH2 World t-shirt and yeah, it looks kind of weird on camera looking at my face talking and then my face on my shirt. But again guys, this is a really cool t-shirt. Pretty soon I'm going to start mass producing these and you'll be able to purchase one. Anyway guys, so... Over the weekend, thinking it was over the weekend, President Trump decided to come out of his cave and go to his first baseball game, Major League Baseball game. And normally, when the World Series comes around or, you know, something happens like this, um, the President of the United States normally gets to throw the first pitch. Eh, guess what? This didn't happen this time, guys. This did not happen. Instead, Trump was up in a skybox. I, I guess that's where he was sitting at. And, well, I'll just show you what happened first. Um, so, roll the clip. Check this out, guys. Tron at Game 5 of the World Series last night in D.C. You hear that chant? You don't need me to tell you what, what they're chanting. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, you really heard that. You know, they were literally booing him, which, I mean, he deserved the boos. Then they started chanting, lock him up, lock him up. Now, before I dive into this like I want to, um, yeah, let's listen to this guy first uh yeah roll uh next clip i have a hard time with the idea of a of a crowd on a globally televised sporting event uh chanting lock him up about our president um i frankly think the office of the president deserves respect even when the actions uh, of our president at times don't uh, i certainly hope that we won't hear lock him up chants at democratic rallies or at our convention I mean, J.W. doesn't. Really? The office of the president, see, deserves respect. Um, I don't know how you were brought up, but yeah, I was brought up. Respect is earned, not given. Um... And, yeah, you may have said no matter, you know, how bad of things he has done, uh, I'm not going to respect him still. No. Uh, here's my point. You don't want us to chant lock him up or boo him, but... Didn't he have something to do with a lock him up chant for Hillary Clinton? And didn't he disrespectfully not stop a ignorant crowd of chanting, send them back to Congresswomen of the United States of America? Where's the respect there, but yet we're just supposed to ultimately respect Trump because he's the president of the United States? Guess what? I don't think so. Respect is earned, not given. 
And until he does something to earn respect, this is just going to keep going on. People are going to continue to boo him and continue to chant, lock him up. You know, he plays this super tough guy act because he has all his money and because he's a president of the United States. And a lot of people here in America just eat that up. You eat it up. Like, he's going to come save you. You know? Why can't you see the bigger picture of what's going on? And truth be told, this whole, that whole chant, you know, he probably loved Trump feeds off of negative stuff like that. Let's just be honest. You know, he loved, did you see him look at his wife? You know, he was smiling. You know, he was probably thinking, you know, these beep, beep, beeps all can just, you know what. You know, I'm pretty sure he was thinking something like that. But no, respect, it's earned, not just hand it out. I'm not just going to hand you and say here, I respect you or I respect you when you have done nothing but disrespect American citizens, you know, cities, you know, minorities. No, you are nowhere near having any kind of respect for me at all. That's just my personal opinion. But, I don't know. Like I said, other Americans out there, they love it. They eat it up. They think he is gold. Think he has done no wrong. And that right there to me is just called ignorance. You just don't want to see the truth. You just want to follow in his footsteps and follow in his lies. That's how I look at it. And it's not going to get any better at all because those people who follow in his footsteps and wants to be like him and wants to be in his corruption and just claim that he can do no wrong or have done no wrong, it's just going to get worse for the rest of us. And they don't care. They do not care. Because if those people truly wanted to make America great, they would stop falling for all of his corruption and taking up for him every single time he does something to push this country back. You know, we should be going forward, but instead, I think we're at a standstill. We're not even moving at all. That's my opinion. It could be a fact. That's for you to decide. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe to HC2 World. And thanks for supporting me. Thanks for watching my videos. I love each and every one of you. And have a happy Halloween because today is Halloween and it's kind of too cold to be outside. Anyway, I don't really want to go out there. But oh well. And guys, do me a big favor. Pray for the people in California. You know, that state is under a state of emergency. Fires are spreading and just destroying cities. And people are without power. And we need to start supporting and praying for our fellow Americans, you know, and help them through this crisis like this. And stuff like this is where we need to come together and, you know, try to do stuff to help, you know. Those people that ask for this to happen. And you never know when something bad may happen to you and you may wind up having to depend on somebody else to come and help you. So just keep those people in mind. And pray that things get better for them over there. Because in the end, guys, we are all American citizens. And that's the bigger picture. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.